back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Yo, full time family, it's your boy Taco Bell Wani and Nate Diaz had a fire tweet that I missed. Yo, we got to cover this in a specific video. It's that good. Habib Nurmagomedov, I mean, Nate Diaz is clowning the bully Habib for not expecting to get rolled on by Conor McGregor's crew. Now, with that being said, first, I got to take the time to shout out Aaron uh, B. I, I know a lot of people, I don't like pronouncing people's full name. Aaron B for the $100 donation. Thank you very much, good sir. This is a guy, if you don't know, that has been one of the top supporters of the channel from day one. Thank you, Matt, very much to everybody, but even especially you, Aaron. Thank you very much. With that being said, yo, this video just what's going on you know what i'm saying this I, I some people aren't gonna like this because they don't like you know they don't give a fuck about the streets and the street code and the fucking you know thug side of conor mcgregor and the nate diaz side of this a lot of people are too prop proper and preppy for where this video is about to go so for all of you guys shame on conor mcgregor shame yeah he's a bad guy he almost injured innocent people i know it's completely unfathomable to to some of you guys that shit almost got real but to a lot of us we've seen situations like this and it's even been way worse i mean you know what i'm saying here when, in the first situation whenever habib's crew approached artem lobal like in a street situation where nate diaz or someone would have came from a lot of the times artem lobal is going to be in ending up jumped in that situation they just gave him a good talking to you know habib had his neck pretty firm on his his hand pretty firm on his neck but Artem Lobov walked away untouched. Either way, hashtag motherfucking squad goals. Conor McGregor, the y'all ain't gonna like this. I'm just saying Conor McGregor's looking like the real gangster in this situation, bro. Even Nate Diaz agrees. Conor McGregor heard that his boy got touched at the hotel and said, okay, motherfucking squad goals. We, you ain't just touching our boy. They literally rolled up 20 deep on some gangster shit. Not on no touching your neck. On some, I don't care who's here, innocent, you know, fighters, none of that shit, bro. You touched our boy, she was about to get real like it would have if it wasn't in the Barclays Center. This was like some Connor McTeller, I told y'all, he like some Sons of Anarchy. The whole crew rolled up uh, and it was about to get real. Now, Connor McGregor's in a lot of heat for this because, yes, there were innocent bystanders. That shit is not cool. But at the same time, if you take away the morals, no, <laughs> if you take away, like, if you look at this from, I don't want to say a street perspective, but this is what I'm saying. Conor McGregor, as far as the situation, okay, look, whenever Habib, we're going to take this from how Nate Diaz is looking at it. First, let me read Nate Diaz's tweet, because that's really what I'm trying to explain in this video. It's a really good tweet. He's talking about Habib. He said he shouldn't have been trying to punk his boy when he was alone, like a bully, and then he expects not to get rolled on, fucking rookie, and then stay on the bus? Haha, -ha, you guys got punked. Now, I know a lot of people are not going to like that, but Nate Diaz, Nathan Diaz has a great point, and I, that's what I was about to explain, but it's a lot better if you hear the tweet first. So let's get into it. He said he shouldn't have been trying to punk his boy when he was alone. Whenever Artem Lobov was in the hallway, he had like one other guy with him. Habib had like the whole motherfucking Dagestan gangster squad. There ain't much Artem can do there. You know, yeah, Habib approached him, but he had numbers on his side. You got to keep that in mind. Yeah, Habib might have approached Connor when he was, or Artem when he was by himself. I'm sure he would have. But would he have did it if Connor had like 10 people behind him? You know, that's just how it looks. The, the fact is of the story, let's leave your opinion out of it for now. The fact is, Habib had numbers when he approached Artem. Now, Conor McGregor got numbers back on his side and said, okay, we're rolling back for our boy. That's why Nate Diaz, you should have expected that. You put your hands on his homie and you expect they're not going to retaliate. Nate Diaz is on some motherfucking Tupac, West Coast, East Coast, you ain't fucking with my boy, ride or die shit. Nate Diaz is, you know, they take pride in being... I don't know I want to say the gangsters of the UFC, but you know what I'm saying? Nate Diaz is always bumping some Tupac. Nate Diaz, they're doing their thug dizzle with the scrap pack. They didn't understand a little bit about the street code, even though it's not all the way. You know, I'm, I don't want to turn the cringe up all the way, but you get what I'm saying. They've got a little bit of street background, even though they're not all the way the fucking top dogs. Don't take it too far. You get the point. So he said you should have expected it. That was a fucking rookie move. 
you do this to help me and you don't expect retaliation? No, that ain't how it works. And then he also said on top of that, and then you stayed in the bus. Another thing people are pointing out. Okay, you approached Arda when he was by himself, but when Connor's crew was outside the bus, you guys stayed in the bus. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, a lot of people say he was smart. He's supposed to stay in the bus. Yeah, if you um, <laughs> ain't about that life, I guess. I'm, I think Nate Diaz would have had to get out the bus. You know what I'm saying? I think Nate Diaz, if him and his crew were in that bus, they would have had to get out the bus and would have really got going. In my opinion, that's just what I think. If Nate Diaz was in that bus, he would have got out the bus and either took that L or just they would have been scrapping until somebody stopped it. You know what I'm saying? And that's just my opinion. With that being said, it is what it is. Thank you much, Aaron B., for the donation. And yeah, Nate Diaz has responded. He called Habib a bully for punking Artem when he was alone. He said, you should have expected to get rolled on, you rookie. And then he also said, um, then you stayed on the bus on top of all of that. So yeah, as far as that's concerned, when you frame it like that, Habib might have held the L just a little bit in this situation. That's only if you care about street cred. No one really gives a fuck about street cred. But if you are one of those guys, you know, Nate Diaz, those guys, I do think kind of consider street cred. If you're considering street cred, Habib kind of took an L here. He confronted homie when he was alone. He got rolled on and stayed in the bus. With that being said, let me know what you think about this situation in the comments. Nate Diaz on top of this tweet had another one we already covered. I'm out. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. Da 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 da. It's the motherfucking DOWG.